You gonna make it, man? We'll get there. It has been a very long day at Llama Ranch. We still aren't done. <laughs> we got a ways to go. <laughs> We wanted to do a ballistic comparison between Winchester 556, 55 grain Winchester 556 NATO rounds and AAC, America's Ammo Company. It is the ammunition that is produced by PSA. They did not provide us this ammunition. We bought this with our own hard earned money. We are not shilling for anybody. AAC is a bit cheaper than a lot of other ammunition on the market. We wanted to see if it is really comparable or if we can see any noticeable differences as far as ballistics in ballistic gel and uh, groupings at 100 yards. So we're going to do a couple tests involving both the gel and the paper targets. And I think we should probably just get right into it. Yep, let's do it. So, predictions, anything? I think it's gonna penetrate the whole block. First off, both of them. I, I really don't think there's gonna be any noticeable differences that, between That's them. what I'm looking for. Do you think there's really gonna be any difference between Winchester's 5.56 and AAC's? Ballistic wise, I don't, I don't foresee any major differences between this and Winchester in terms of the ballistic gel or grouping is downrange as long as we're consistent with our shots. Yep. I agree, and I really do hope to see that AAC is just as effective, just as consistent as Winchester's, but we'll see what happens here. All right, first up is going to be one round of 55 grain Winchester. I'm going to be hopefully hitting that right side gel block. Ooh. Solid shot. That was about as good as I can hope for. And despite everybody behind the camera telling me and reminding me to turn on the GoPro, I'm sorry, Aaron, I did not have the GoPro running for that. I apologize. It is now running for our AAC round. All right, let's go compare and contrast those. Yep. This is the Winchester block. This did flip. This is the AAC. It, it did. Flipped. So other than, you know, the flip, it did the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. But. Up into the left versus down into the right, but very similar looking. Flip it like this. Moon channels. They, that's damn near identical. Yeah, the level of penetration before it actually exits the block is really interesting. You can see actually with the shadow from the stand over here, it marks the end of the wound channel and the cavitation. That's why we waited to this point in the day to do this because I wanted this line from our post. Oh, and the sun from the side, yeah? Exactly. Oh, I get it. I don't think we need to go any further with this part of it. We're gonna start with Winchester ammo again, five rounds. And just for the record, we're using a 3X magnifier on this not using a precision rifle. This is 100 yards, so should be a decent shot, but I haven't shot 100 yards in a while, so we'll see, I guess. Once again, five rounds, this time with PSA's AAC ammo. Jam. Yep, I felt it. Jam. That was a good shot. Pause. I'm not willing to hold that against AAC or PSA. We have been running this gun like crazy lately and I tend to not clean my guns as much as I should, so. Just cleaned up the bolt carrier group. We'll see how it runs now. Let's go see how you did. I'm a little worried. Ah, Can we do five more of each? Uh, sure. Okay. 
I, sure. I, I don't feel good about that. These two outliers there versus two with or three within two inches, I'm sorry, one inch of each other, that's pretty damn good. I mean, then you had one flyer with the AAC and then you're within like two and a half MOA. Again, with a 3X magnifier out of a 5.56 that is not a top end barrel. It's not a heavy barrel. It's not built for marksmanship. I know, I just feel like I can do better. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna take another five shots of each downrange just to be sure. We'll see how the results turn out, whether or not they're any different and that'll kind of help me determine the quality of each and the quality of my aim. Center left. Center right. Okay, five rounds AAC. Let's go check those targets. Wow, that is a bad flyer. What interests me the most though is you were aiming at the center for both, right? For, for all my shots, I'm aiming dead center. I'm breathing and I'm, I'm pulling the trigger on my out breath. So. That's really bizarre. First off, because I only ever really used Winchester through that rifle and I thought it was damn near zeroed for 100 and it's shooting three, four inches right for the but, most part but that's on the winchester the and, AAC. but exactly and aac is for the most part just shooting low we're gonna discount this round for winchester that's wide really wide it's an outlier so then we're looking at two moa here which is very reasonable especially 3x magnifier 100 yards through a mid-tier ar-15 barrel Move over to the AAC. Probably about again. two again for this grouping. Yep, about two again. Again, I'm saying, other than you know the, the variation in the zeroing, I'm saying it's pretty damn comparable. Yeah, and I think the fact that the uh, feeding issues were solved just with a little bit of cleaning and lubrication that makes me feel better about it. And I never thought that AAC was bad. I mean, Grand Thumb is actually sponsored by mm -hmm. AAC. So it's not like they make crap ammo, but I was just really curious to see how it worked in comparison to the manufacturer that makes the ammunition for the military. So I think between the penetration with the ballistic gel and the precision test that we did with the paper targets here, I'd say the two types of ammo are, are rather comparable given an amateur marksman skills yep. and the type of equipment that we were using. Yeah. So I have no issues with it. Nope. I have really nothing to say. Again, I'm gonna start buying more of that because you know we're using more ammo. If you're interested in us doing more comparisons like this, let us know. Uh, other companies, other manufacturers of ammunition, let us know. We're more than happy to do this. This is not something that is very expensive for us to do as a small YouTube channel. Drop a comment down below if you have other ideas in this vein. And I guess, uh, you know, it's sun's about to go down. We got a couple more things we got to do real quick. So let's just uh, wrap this up. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel. Go check us out on X and Instagram. Go follow us on Twitter where we get really out of hand on the weekends. FantomMamasDen.com. As always, don't take life too seriously. And make it a great day. Bye-bye!